I wanted to talk to you today about a finished object. You've probably seen me wear it on some of my interviews. It's this little Viking necklace. Tiny Viking. And this is a pattern from Mochi Mochi World. And I really want to have Anna on my channel sometime. I think she lives in the Chicagoland area, which is where I'm from. So I'm hoping someday we can connect and do an, a proper interview. Because I'm a big fan of hers. I think I might have seen her stuff for the first time at Vogue Knitting Live several years years ago. It was either either there or at Lion Brand Yarn. They had like an sort of a, an art piece that she had done in their studio for a while, and I had noticed it there. She has a few pattern books and a really fun Instagram feed. She's done some stop motion films with her knitted creations for Sesame Street. She has a photo contest every year that's fun to see the submissions. I really wanted to enter, but I just didn't have time to make any emojis for it. I shared the story of this this necklace before actually in a hidden video uh, with two of wands. It's sort of at the end of the video, kind of like a secret video. But I'll just share it with you here. I had a friend who was in an accident. She was walking on the road and a car hit her and she experienced a lot of head trauma and brain damage and just had a long recovery process and it's one of those things where you know I haven't I hadn't seen her in years. She lived away at the time but you know I'm praying for her and I'm thinking about her and Sometimes in these situations, you just feel so helpless. Like, how, I can't bring a meal. You know, I can't, I can't help her. So, a lot of times I turn to my needles. And in this case, she is, she has red hair, and she's a, a Norwegian, like a Viking descent. So I thought, you know what, she needs a little warrior in her life right now. So I knit her a tiny Viking and put it on a chain. I think I put it on a chain for her. Hers might not have been on a chain, but, but I knit one for her and I knit one for me. And so I wore, so I could wear this around my neck and, and think about her with a little chain. And so that's the story of the, the tiny Viking. I don't, I don't know if she ever knew I knit it for her because I'm sure I sent it to her at a time when she, for all I know, could have still been maybe even in a coma. So she may not even know about it. But I wanted the family to know that I was thinking of them. And I don't know if it was me. I think it might have been my friend Ariel who did this. Um, I think I just directly copied her. Ariel, tell me who copied who. It doesn't matter, right? Because it was such a great idea. She made this little Rudolph reindeer. I think it was, I think she did, and put it on a chain. So I don't know whose idea that was, but I was like, yep, yeah, I'm, I'm totally in for that. So this little reindeer, it's a little bit bigger than this one because this came in a kit, and Anna makes like these, the appropriate size yarn for the size one needles, but this, I think, is the cotton bonbons from Lion Brand, and I used maybe a two or a three, and so it turned out a little bit bigger, and then I used the sparkly nose. Uh, the sparkly yarn for the nose to put on a chain. So I love this one for the holidays. Now this one's shorter. I actually prefer necklaces to be a little shorter. And this chain is so big that it is easy to come on and off. The smaller chains are very difficult to fiddle with, so I make them longer so you don't have to undo that clasp. You see the little clasp there? I recently made new necklaces for our friends. So I have a friend who is in the Broadway show Amelie, and I've never seen that film, and I really don't know anything about the musical. Except that I sort of feel like there was something about gnomes and I don't know if it was something that she had like put on social media or where I got this information or this idea. But then I started googling like Amelie gnomes and there were some images from the film of Amelie and some gnomes. So even though I'm taping this before I have seen the Broadway musical and I'm not 100% sure I am correct. Just in case I am correct, if I go to the show and I see that there are gnomes, I am ready with a gift for my friend. Because in the Mochi Mochi book, there are gnomes. Isn't that so cute? So I hope I'm right. So that, and if, if I'm not right, I'm not going to give it to her. So Allison, if you're watching and you didn't get a necklace, it's because I'm totally off totally off base here and there was no gnome in the show at all or they wrote the gnomes out of the musical but they were really in the film I don't know I but I feel like I feel like it was you that made me think oh I need to pay attention to the gnome thing so you can make one of these too the there's a book of patterns but she also sells kits there are some at Pearl Soho I actually picked up the pirate kit because I needed the yarn and it's really similar to the gnome colors only there wasn't this like flesh tone in the kit. 
So I ended up just getting some two ply cruel yarn, Cruel, C R E W E L, at Pearl Soho and doubling it. They had four ply too, but it seemed a little too thick. So you can just use like needlepoint yarn, like it's just a very small amount of yarn that you need to make the, the tiny size on size ones. And it just, it doesn't take that long. Like I knit most of this at a rehearsal that I was just waiting for my daughter to finish and then just finish it up. And her little kits come with a tiny bit of polyfill, but if you don't have polyfill, you can stuff it with, you know, maybe cotton balls or extra yarn or just stuff it with whatever. And the chain was so fun. So there's a store in New York City. It's near the, it's like in the garment district, fashion district. It's I think 6th Avenue and 36th Street-ish. It's next to MJ, M &J Trimming, which is sort of a bigger trim store that people know about. And they just have rows and rows and rows of this. I call this dog tag chain, but I'm sure that's not what it's called. It's like ball chain. I don't know what it's called. But they have all these different colors and sizes. So I got this tiny little size turquoise. There. It's really tiny, and then I got the clasp in the contrasting red color because, you know, the gnome is turquoise and red. The chain is like a dollar or two dollars per foot. And so I got, um, I guess I got about three, three feet of chain. I, well, let's see, how, much, how long is this? This looks like about two feet, maybe. So they only cut it by the foot, but it's really inexpensive. And the little clasps are like 50 cents, or it's like $1.50 for eight of them or something. So you can see all the little packages around, and they just cut it. And then if you come home and you don't like the size, it's really, really easy to cut with a, just a wire cutter. So it's just like a no-brainer, like awesome purchase. And you just feed it through. You don't even need a special tool. It just pops right through, and then you have a necklace. So I think it's a great, I think it's fun to wear because it's like a little knitted creature. It's, and it's small. It's not like some crazy, you see it? Whoop. It's not like some crazy knitted amigurumi on your chest. It's like delicate and small. And I feel like it makes a nice little memento or a little gift. And it, it's kind of random and crazy. And, and it's cute and nice because it's handmade by you. So that's my finished object, a little gnome necklace or a reindeer or a viking. Uh, my friend Ariel, she also has a mermaid one that she wears around her neck. But I just love making them into jewelry. That's like my favorite part about the mochi mochi patterns. So I just wanted to share that finished object with you today. And of course, thank you so much for stopping by Christy Glass Bye!